Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steelers Sanctuary Podcast. I'm your host, Dave Ribeiro from SteelersSanctuary.com, and this is my co-host, David Cora. What's up, Dave? Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll start this week with the injury report. Uh, it's pretty good for the most part for the Steelers, except Steven Sims out. That's kind of a bummer, man. He was so good last week in returns, and now he's out, and we're back to Gunnar Olszewski. <laughs> good old Gunnar. Back again. Uh, yeah. Less than optimal. Um, James Pierre is questionable and a killer with a spoon is doubtful. I don't think uh, James Pierre will play. A killer with a spoon is not going to play. No. So no, he's, banged he's... Up. Yeah, he's still with that hamstring, right? Yep. Must so have had a setback because he was full go the day before. Yeah. Came down with this. Yep. He definitely so, had a setback. I noticed that fuck. too. It sucks. A banged up James Pierre against Jalen Waddle or or Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Gonna go real well. Christ. Real well. <laughs> Not good. Oh man. Um, the Dolphins are kind of banged up in the secondary. They're really banged up in the secondary. Byron Jones hasn't played all season. Uh Xavier Howard's been playing injured, but he's gonna play apparently. Um now they're down to Nick Needham. Oh, Nick Needham's on IR. He's another cornerback of there. So they're down to Cater Kai- Caillou. I think I'm saying that right. And Keon Crossan, both guys are kind of dinged up too, so they're pretty beat up in the secondary. Jesus, I'm not even seeing that on my depth chart. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty thin for the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking here and I'm like, uh, yeah, like um, Xavier Howard's questionable. Zader Kahu, is that who the hell you were trying to say? Earlier? Yeah, Cater. Yeah, Zader Kahu questionable. Yeah. And then and then Keon doubtful. Crossan, doubtful. Yeah. Damn. So that if there Noah, ever was a day that uh, a Matt Cannon offense was going to break out, this might be the day. <laughs> we could hope, and, right? And then uh, Emmanuel Ogba is questionable too, and, yeah. and Christian Wilkins. Holy shit! Yeah, they're, they're a little they're banged up. up. Uh, Tariq Armstead is questionable. He's got a toe. He just, they said he. Uh, I was listening to something else. He hasn't practiced all season. He practices very sparingly and just plays the game because his toe is really bad. So. No shit. They're beat up. Jalen Waddle's got a shoulder, but he's going to play, I guess. He practiced all week. All right. Well, hey, we'll, we'll fucking take it. Like, right. you know, whatever. We've been going we up against get... some beat up teams the last couple of weeks. Jeez. The Bucks were pretty yeah. beat up, too. Yeah, but we're fucking beat the fuck out of, yeah. too. So, like, it, no it actually comes out. I'm not feeling sorry for, for anybody. <laughs> no, fuck them. Whatever. Not at all. All right, before we get to the game, uh, we went over the tra- uh, Chase Claypool trade room was on our last podcast, but since then, some new um, shit's been thrown against the fan, let's just say. Uh, this writer, Peter Bukowski, I think his name is, he's the host of Locked On Packers, I guess. He said that the Steelers are asking for a similar haul to what the Panthers got for Christian McCaffrey. This sounds ridiculous to me. I don't know about you. Yeah, like, I'm just like, what? I'm like, I mean, remember we? I talked about wanting a second. You talked about wanting a second. Yep. It would be where the highest. I would, you know, I'd be have a high asking price. But this ain't a high asking price. This is fucking ridiculous. Like it's ridiculous. If if this is true, that's their asking price, then they're no, they're not trying to trade. They're yeah, they're not yeah, trying to good trade. point. Yeah, or like, they're just saying, all right, if you want to do something crazy, we'll trade them. Otherwise, yeah, they're not they're not really trying to trade them. If that's really their asking price, they're just doing that to see. To where nobody will actually come and get him, or to some idiot from another team will need <laughs> that, and they'll go. I mean, okay, like yeah, I said last we'll, week, yeah, yeah, anything's but possible. I, I mean, it was also reported by this guy Dove Kleeman, who's just kind of a he's a blue check mark on on Twitter, but he doesn't really he covers the whole league. He doesn't work for anybody in particular. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where they're getting this from. I, I tweeted it out. If Omar Khan gets this. Chase Claypool. I'm gonna run to Pittsburgh and build a statue of him myself. Because I was gonna say, put a fucking, fucking statue highway out there robbery. Right I mean, fucking now for that man, right? It can't be, dude. A second, a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. Like, what? Because no, there's no Claypool's way. an original second right. round pick, and he hasn't done anything. So, I, how he can he really... can garner the same as a RB one? Like this guy's literally yeah. when healthy, the like top Christian running McCaffrey, back yeah. in the league. That doesn't make any sense. Unless running back's value is just – now, it sounds stupid, but maybe it's just that low since they didn't even want a first. It, it's the second on was able to be enough yeah. for him to get to get traded. Maybe that's it. Maybe the value of a wide receiver is higher. So maybe because Claypool has that potential but not have come done it, 
Maybe that's why it's still worth that much. I have no idea. But either way, that's a hell of an asking price that I don't think anybody's going to meet. I don't care if the Packers are all in or not. They're not fucking giving them a second, a third, a fourth, and then a, a fifth, you know, 2024 fifth or whatever. They're not doing that trade. They're not doing that. They're not. They're not even going to do multiple picks. They're not getting multiple picks for Chase Claypool. Whatever they get, it's going to be like one pick. That's it. He just it's scored his first touchdown. He just scored his first touchdown in six games. Yep. Like, yep. what? Well, yeah. I know I, our team's smart enough to see through that because he's the only wide receiver on the Steelers with a touchdown <laughs> this season. So it, it, a lot of that's Matt Canada. A lot of it's Chase Claypool, though, too. He hasn't played very well despite, you know, the offense. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. They'd be out of their fucking mind. But, hey, like, anything's possible. So, if they get it, freaking run them to the airport as fast as you can. That's all. Like I, I said, I, if they just got a second for them, I'd be, I'd be happy. Yeah, that's what I was talking about last week, right? But my doing God. Wheels if they got a second. I just don't see it. There's just no way. There's no way they're getting that kind of return for him. If they do, I, I just – I'd be baffled, to be honest. I just don't see it. I really don't. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, there was another interesting trade rumor I saw today, yesterday. This guy, Cody Benjamin. Did you hear about this one? Um, I Mason think. Rudolph. Yeah. For William Jackson. Hello. Do that deal. Yesterday. I will, I will drive Park. Mason Rudolph to the airport and I will put him on that plane. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, I, I guess uh, William Jackson, I guess is, I guess he's got a back injury or something. Yeah. I did a little dig and I did a trade rumor type post this week and he says he has a back injury. Now there's someone else brought up the fact that he just wants the hell out of Washington, Washington, and he's going to do whatever he can, including, Maybe fake, not faking injuries, but maybe exaggerating injuries. I don't could, know. Could be. I mean, he's certainly killing his trade value. So, but that's a good thing command- for us. Yeah, like that's yes. that's the fine. Com- the commanders do need a quarterback. They put um their starter on IR, so he's going to be out for a little while. Um, this is one I could see happening. This is one I could see. I, I think. Wait, Wentz. The commanders- oh yeah, Wentz did go. On yeah, now, Wentz is on it? IR. Yeah. Okay. I know I don't think the commanders are very fond of William Jackson, so they want to get rid of him. And they need a quarterback, so this is a possibility. Bro, I mean, really, if if Mason Rudolph is the headliner for us in that return to them, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean like like I like said, do it right Mason away. Rudolph and a sixth. Could that get it done? That'd be that'd be great. <laughs> I yeah. would I would I would do that. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Hundred um, percent. So, I mean, the question would be like, how high are you going to go on the pick? Like, if they get Rudolph, what pick would be? How high are you willing to go for a pick to be worth it to get to get him? I don't think much more, dude, because he's got a big contract. I think the, the Steelers will be on the hook for like thirteen million a season for two more seasons after this. Yeah, that's 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 extreme. So, yeah, I don't think I'd go more than a sixth, Mason yeah. Rudolph, or just. I don't know. Mason Maybe Rudolph fourth, in the seventh? Just more just like a, a sixth straight up without Mason or, Rudolph. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know, but I'm interested to see if something like that happens. Because Witherspoon is it's not looking good for Witherspoon. And he no, is technically team. our number one corner. And mm-hmm. we haven't had him in what four games? So yep. uh or not I don't know if it's been four, but um we haven't had him team? healthy. He played against the Browns, didn't he? That's when he got hurt. Yes. That's when he got hurt against the Browns. Yep, you're right. right. So, um, yeah. So, they need depth at corners. They, this would be yeah. a good trade for them. This would be an excellent so trade. This, so, this would, this would help. This would definitely be – as long as he's not really that injured. Like, as long as he is just, you know, pulling his yeah. shit because he doesn't want to play or whatever for them. But, um, yeah, they can get him, dude. I'd be down. I'd be definitely down for that. And then, uh, and you know, is there any other trade rumors going around? I think that's really about it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it for the Steelers. I mean, there's a bunch like um, uh, Mike Gusecki of the Dolphins. That he's on the block for anybody who wants him. I guess McDaniel's the coach there doesn't like him at all. So, but I'm sure there's going to be a few more trades before the the, um, the trade deadline. But yeah, what do you think of that Christian McCaffrey trade? I think it's a great trade for the 49ers. I, I really do. If he stays healthy, obviously. That's oh, the thing with dude. Him. I mean, that's what's killing them because Eli yeah. Mitchell can't stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Um. Wilson for them, he's okay. I mean, he's not you know dynamic. Uh, 
But I mean, just to add that wrinkle, man, you add yeah. him with Aik and Debo and uh, Debo Samuel and Kelsey. Not Kelsey. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not forgetting his name. Um, yeah, tight end. Tight end. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Kittle. <laughs> Kittle. Kittle. They're loaded. Had, yeah, dude, they're loaded now. I mean, so now you got all these weapons for uh, old uh, Jimmy G there. To... <laughs> <laughs> Our hero, Jimmy G. <laughs> yep. Jimmy G, oh, man, God. got him another weapon. Let's go. Hey, he's he's taken him to the Super Bowl before with with less. So you know, mean, he's just they got there, a great. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, GM. Let's do this. <laughs> they got a great coach. They got a great defense when they're healthy. Yeah, you know they got they've, great. they've been banged up to shit. Their, de- their defense is great. Yeah, like so, when they're healthy, dude. Their defense is really good. So this team, I, if this team is ninety five percent healthy, they're they got to be Super Bowl favorite in the NFC. I'm, they I'm be, calling right? them. Uh, I'm calling them. Yeah, they got to be an NFC favorite for sure now. There's no doubt. If they're healthy, I, yeah. I mean, for sure. if they're healthy, there's no doubt. So, because NFC, dude, remember we talked about this. They're not that. They're not that great. It's, it's not. It's not. So now, and I think they see that. They probably see that, and they're probably like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. we had." Yeah, that could have been part we, of them. We had yeah. McCaffrey. Now the, the thing here will be: Can McCaffrey stay healthy? Well, that's the thing. You're, you're an injury prone yeah. team to begin with, and now you're bringing in yeah. a very injury prone. Right? It's so, risky, but I like it, man. You go, you're going to go for it. Go for it, man. Yeah, and I and I like it for the Panthers too. I mean, a second, a third, yeah. and a fourth. I mean, that's that's a lot of picks to add if you really want to turn your team around. So, I, I you by know. the time they by the time they ever turn that franchise around, McCaffrey will be out of the league. Three well, four I'm, years from now, you know. I think that they're seeing that they also made a big mistake. Uh, going and getting Baker Mayfield too. They whiffed oh, yeah. on that. They whiffed on that, and they're not going anywhere with anything else they've made. So I, I you know, they just traded fucking uh, Robbie Anderson because he's just yeah. as fuck. So it, it, yeah, it's time to just turn that team over, and it's time to start from fresh. And they need they need draft capital. So now they've got it. So yeah, I, I also heard that Brian Burns might be available if you, you're ready to give up a couple yep. firsts. He's a good player. I would hold on to him. He's kind of young too. That's a defensive end. That's the yeah. DN. Good yeah, player. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, let's get into this game. Uh, two is back for the Dolphins to start his first game in like three games. Uh, I don't yeah, know what to expect like from him. I don't know what to expect from him. I'm sure he'll be a little rusty. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know what. I don't know how he's going to do. I mean, his first game back after going through all this. I mean, I would like to think. I'm not trying to be mean. I just I hope he's not that good. I hope he, he's. <laughs> I hope he sucks. Like I, I, you know, and he might. I mean, it I really don't. Nice. Blame, and I don't blame him. Like you know, after going through all yeah. that, Jesus. There's people, including the Pittsburgh doctor, the concussion guy, calling for him to retire. They're saying, dude, you should retire. Like wow. your brain is fucked. One more crucial hit, and it could be, you know, devastating. So, it. You know, and I don't, you know, and I don't know, you know, I don't know how, you know, much they're exaggerating or whatever, but, um, or if they're even exaggerating, I don't know, you know, I'm not a doctor, so yeah, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, they, even they the doctors be, don't know, Dave. They, they could, yeah, the right. They stuff. could be dead on that, hey, man, this guy's one more hit away from being lights out or whatever, you know, but I don't, I don't think he's going to be as good. I don't think, I mean, you're talking four game break, you got your dome popped twice. Your yeah. your lights out. He don't even yeah. remember anything. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't even remember a bunch of stuff. To expect him to come out there and be, you know, the Tua like when they were balling out, like yeah. that Tua. I'm not expecting that. But it's we'll hard see. to expect that. I mean, look, he's better than Skylar Thompson, and Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, those two guys right. are really not good. Right. So, right. If he's right, it's, if it's he's a right little bit here, of a, then, then yeah, yeah. Then, then then yeah, absolutely. But I, I don't. I don't know. I'm hoping he sucks. I'm hoping we get a couple turnovers and we turn him in the points and yeah, there you go. But, uh, but I don't know, man, I, I don't, I'm expecting him to be okay. I'm not expecting him to be the two of from before the injuries. I don't expect that. Well, unfortunately for the Steelers, all he has to be is okay because those two, it's three wide receivers, really Cedric Wilson, Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, man, yeah. they lead the league in 40 plus pass plays with five. This, those receivers are ridiculous. All and I gotta say is, thank God we got Minka back. <laughs> yeah, definitely, hundred um, percent. He's gonna be a key to this game. Hopefully, they leave him. 
back there in center field and don't do any stupid shit like they did with the Bills. I swear to, I put swear him on the to line God, of if I see him come up to the line of scrimmage, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Uh, listen, we talked about it last week, right? Simplify the defense, play conservative, let these yes. guys play, and, yes. and you saw the results last week. Do it again. Just because it's Minka's back, don't go back to, you know, yep. whatever they were doing before don't, that wasn't Don't working. make it crazy stupid to where, no. like, Guys don't understand simple. their assignment. They get mixed up, and next thing you know, they're throwing a long bomb to Tyreek Hill. Yeah. And nobody's there to touch him. But they're gonna, dude, they're gonna have to double him up. Yeah, I, oh I, yeah, absolutely. Then, I, then I, it's, like I said, then you're one on one with Waddle and Pierre. Yeah, boy, that's not good either. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> like I know, that doesn't. It's not good. I, I just they're gonna I have to play too deep. They're gonna have to keep Edmonds yeah, back there too, yeah, or just let them too high and complete go from passes there. up the middle and yeah, yep. take your chances. It's that's the only way. I don't. I agree. Still a secondary, still banged up. You know, it's still not. 100%. I mean, they really got to get Spillane out there as much as possible. Oh that, boy, that's you... how you fix things. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's great. What's What's the over under on the corner? We lose our shit with Spillane one on one with either Tyree Kill or <laughs> Jalen Waddle. Uh, we just got throwing our the... phones around. <laughs> what's the over? I say under? early second quarter. <laughs> yeah. What's the over under that? that we're motherfucking this? <laughs> Killers left oh, yeah, right the motherfuckers. Because Spillane's <laughs> out there on third and seven, third and ten, third and twelve, fourth and like eight. And every time he gets the, he gives up the first down. But hey, he does great. He does a lot of good things. He communicates oh, really man. well. Best communicator oh, ever. Man. Yeah. I, I a great communicator. Make the guy a telemarketer then. Don't fucking put him on the football field. Please. Not, to, guy, not I, to be rude. Come on. But Mike McDaniel is a great, you know, I've, I've been singing his praises all season. He's, he's yeah. a really good offensive mind. This dude must be sexually aroused when he watches the Steelers defense and he sees fucking Spillane as a key third down coverage guy. He must be out of his mind with excitement. You, you had to say, I want to take a drink of coffee. So I, give <laughs> shit. I just, I, I, I picture it. I see it. He's like, oh, my God, that's a slow <laughs> linebacker playing, you know, in yeah. coverage. Well, I mean, he's got to watch the footage, the footage, film from, uh, I can't believe I said footage. <laughs> he's going to watch the film <laughs> from all these games and see how much they like to use Spillane out there in space and, and on passing downs. And he's just going to be like, yeah, like. I, you know you're going to see him line up across from Waddle one or two times. It's oh, inevitable. I, like, I'm call I, I right just... now, Dave. It's going to be minimum four to five times he's going to scheme him one-on-one with a receiver. And uh... we're going to be losing our goddamn minds. Because <sighs> it's – I don't know. It's, it's a mismatch. McDaniel's offensive mind with this group of coordinators, and it's just the Steelers' defensive coordinators. It's, it's a mismatch. The only thing we can hope, well, we hope they play conservative. They have the safeties back there. So if they do complete something like that, it's a 15-yard game and not a 40-yard gain. That's basically what we got to hope for. And then a two is a little off his game because this is a, a banged-up steel secondary with one of the best wide receiver cores in football. It's, it's a bad matchup. And it scares Jeez. me a little bit. And now they got yeah. Raheem Mostert going. He had a 114 two weeks ago, and then he had another 49 yards rushing because their rushing offense is not good. I think it's 30th. Did I write down? Yeah, 30th in the league in rushing offense. It's worse than the Steelers, believe it or not. But now uh-huh. they got Mostert going. So, and he's fast too. So oh, I can I know. see him motioning when out. Dude, when he's healthy, you know, that guy can move, man. Like he's yeah. a, he's good. Like when he played for 49ers, when he was healthy, bro, yeah. my guy was putting up some numbers. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not surprised. I thought that was an excellent signing by them to get him. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, Dolphins really emphasize speed on offense. They like that. And boy, they got it in, in spades. Edmund, Edmonds is another one. The other running back, Edmonds, he's another yes, one. Not he bad. can fucking move too. Like, yep. yeah, no, they, they definitely made some moves to add more speed to that team. And, uh, yeah. you know, including obviously Tyreek Hill. So, you know, I, it's not going to be easy, you yeah. know, but Hey, maybe they, they put it together. Week. They put together a plan like they did last week. Never know. I mean, they really have my, they really have my interest now because I, I honestly thought they're gonna get smoked last week. And yeah, everyone they put together, did. everyone they put did. they put together a plan to do it. They pulled it off. You know, credit to them. So, you know, yep. I, this week, I mean, 
They say that it doesn't make a lot of difference, but they got Flores. They got him. To, to, and, and that was the other thing. Did you hear that they liked his defensive scheme so much they kept it? Did they really? Yeah, I didn't hear that. No. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. It doesn't surprise me. No, they, uh, um, they, they actually liked his defensive scheme so much they kept it. They didn't get rid of it. They, they kept it. So knowing that, I'd be like, well, all right. He should know what the weakness is. Yeah, I was going to so, just gonna say he should, he should know how to pick it apart too. Yeah, uh, we'll so, see. So yeah, I mean, they asked Tomlin, they asked you know Flores, you know, how much of an advantage is it to have the guy that you know built that team was there, and they, you know, they didn't really they downplay it. Yep. Yeah, they, they downplay do. it. You know, they watered it down like ah, it ain't that big of a deal, and it's like, yeah, motherfucker, it is because if they <laughs> yeah, kept your don't. defense, you know the weaknesses of that defense then. You drafted them players, you know their weaknesses. You know it. So yeah. I don't buy that one fucking bit. And then uh, there was another thing, too. Um, I forget. But, uh, but yeah, no, so, so yeah, no, I, I, I fully think, you know, oh, they asked Flores if, you know, this is like a revenge game. He's like, no, it's, I don't even think about that and blah, blah, blah. That's a little bullshit, too. I'm sure he would love yeah. to go in and spike the Dolphins, for sure. Oh, and happened, same with but... him and Minka. I'm sure Minka wants to go in there. Oh, yeah. And Minka said it. He's excited too. to go back. Yeah. So, yeah. so no, I'm thinking that, that that is something that they should we should be able to take advantage of because we're going to need turnovers. I think the only way we win this game is if we have turnovers, to be yeah. honest. It would, it would definitely help. Um, speaking of Dolphins' defenses, I, I looked them up. They're kind of below average this year. They're, they they're are. like 26th against the run and like 23rd against the passes of like we said before, that secondary is beat up. When you have uh, Byron Jones and uh, who's the other corner, Xavier Howard, Xavier Howard, that's great corners, but they haven't played much. And Howard's played, but played banged up. Uh, Christian Wilkins, freaking great defensive tackle, man. I love that guy. Yeah. I love watching that guy play. They got Melvin Ingram, old buddy yeah. Melvin Ingram. He's only got two sacks. I thought he was playing a little bit better than that, but he's been yeah. He got right. like he got defensive player of the, the month or something last month, didn't he? Uh, uh, don't get me on the PFF stuff. Oh, did he, was that NFL? That was NFL, yeah, not you, PFF. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I don't know what these people are seeing. Honestly, Bill. I don't know. So it's a kind of below average. This is this, like I said in the open, this is a game where the Steelers offense, if they're gonna break out, this could be it. I mean I was gonna say, could this be a high scoring game? I mean, is that is that what we're looking at here? Because you, you know, and I was gonna and I wanted to put it out there too that uh their turnover differential is not that good. The Dolphins turnover oh, I didn't differential see that. No, is, isn't? is not good. Well, when you've got Teddy Bridgewater and Skyler or whatever his name, Thompson playing quarterback. Right. Probably, true. That's true. Getting a little desperate. Um, yeah. Yeah. They've been put through the ringer, man. The quarterback position. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jesus. And they're still in, it, in the middle of it. You know, they're not like. They're not out of it completely. No. No. Oh, dude, it also take is one good hit to, to Tua. So, like, Hopefully, my question um, is, do the Steelers bring the heat? You think they. No, you, because you, think you they, leave those. Do you, no, you think leave those they wide receivers keep it to rush yeah. Do you think the same yeah. formula could work against this offense that I did do. against Dan Bet? I do. Okay. I do. So I you're think. thinking always rush four, keep the yeah, rest. Absolutely. All right. We need another look, big game for those. Down. I mean, and, it fucking yeah. won them a game, so fuck yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. It seemed leave like moving – It seemed like moving uh, – moving, um, God damn it. Uh, Ogan Joby towards the middle to put that pressure really fucking worked, man. Yeah. Like I, I need another big game out of those two, Oga Joby yep. and Hayward. That would be nice. Yep. Um, thing is, two is a little bit, uh, not a little bit, a lot more mobile than Tom Brady. So they're gonna have to keep an eye on that too. It's not like yep. he's gonna be a sitting duck in that pocket like Brady was. You're right, so but they might not concern. want him running much either because of his injuries. Yeah, I don't think he can help himself though. He's he's that's the type of quarterback he is. He scrambles. I mean, he's, they won't have any design runs for him. But not to be mean, but it's think. his it's his funeral. I, I wouldn't. You're right, uh, dude. That's man. You're taking. They won't have any chances. design stuff for him, but he'll scramble around if he to. has to. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's but be tough I'm, to bring down. But I'm sure Spillane will be there. Absolutely. <laughs> Spillane yep. again. Kenny Pickett made some news this week. You think he's coming back too soon from concussion? I think he's the first. I don't to practice it's, on Tuesday, right? I think they pulled him as a precaution. I don't think he actually had a concussion. I think they were just being overprotective to be politically Maybe. correct with everything Maybe. going on lately. They, they pulled him because they're like, Nope, I saw the, you know, you see the video. Everybody saw you smack your head off the ground. I'm not, we're not, we're not going down this road. You're done. And then when they did the testing probably Monday, they were like, dude, you're good. 
like you're fine. Yeah. And that's why he was already back at practice. And I, you know, I watched some of the video of practice and, and, and I mean, he was zinging that ball in there. Like he, he, he looked, he looked fine. And uh, by Wednesday he was already off the report. It was like, Oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a problem with it because at the end of the day, it's, they have to be cleared by the doctors. So right. if the doctor's clear, what are you going to do as an organization or a coach? Doctor said he's good to go. He's good to go. You can't, you, you know, t- Mike Tom was not a doctor. He can't decide yeah. if this guy's, you know, and the doctor's cleared him. So he's playing. Like I said, I don't think it's that serious. This isn't a two so, situation where it was the second yeah. one. And yeah. the guy's fingers went cross-eyed and shit. Like oh, that, when was he got hit. that was creepy, yeah. man. That wasn't. That's. It's a completely different situation. He banged his head off the ground. They took him into blue tent. They went, "Hey, look, let's just be safe. Take you out of the game. That yep. way we can avoid anything else." And by Monday, they were like, "You look fine. Your testing's perfect." Because I wonder if there's different levels of concussions too. Like I wonder if they like have different. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure there is, man. Because they a grade they say, one or you know, two or whatever. So yeah. like. His probably was like a grade one, maybe. And like I said, by Wednesday, they're probably like, dude, you're, you're perfectly fine. Like there's nothing, no issues, literally none. So, because you think about Tomlin, Tomlin was very, on Monday, he was very, if he's healthy, he's starting, period. Like it's happening. Yeah, he wanted to squash the quarterback controversy yep. right yep. away, which is good. And, it's yeah. smart coaching. So we well, they to- said, they said that they don't want you, you know, you don't want your guys going, Hey, follow this guy. This is your leader. Then, Oh no, no. Follow this guy. He's your leader. No, no, they no. don't want the back and forth. Like they want you to know who the guy is and then be done with it. So, and that makes sense. I, I you yeah, know. it's a smart coaching. Um, yep. It's time for our weekly. Will Calvin Austin be activated for a game? <laughs> segment yeah. of the podcast. Well, I was um, going to tell you, like, you know, we don't got to go a gunner. Like we got another guy. We got a guy that can do this. Yep. He's better than putting a cornerback out there. I can tell you that fucking much. Well, yeah, that goes without saying, but yeah, but um, my, my, uh, my gut tells me they're not going to do it. They're going to wait uh, another week. It's the whole bullshit. He hasn't played week. a game. They don't have another week, bro. Well, they can officially activate him after the game. They have to Wednesday, I think next Wednesday. Yeah. So that sound yeah. right. So they can on Tuesday, they could say he's active. I, and I think that's what they're going to do. They're just going to, let him sit one more week because you know, Steelers are so conservative when it comes to this stuff. And they said he hasn't played a game since the bowl game and his senior year in college. And he didn't play all in the preseason. He's not up to speed. Matt Canada doesn't know how to use him. Blah, 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 blah. Dude, it's the bullshit my, we're going to hear. In my heart, I pray they're saving everyone for Philly. In my heart. I'm uh, in my heart. Know, I'm you, praying. You, you, <laughs> I, I, you've like, gone I'm, with that before. I mean, I hope I, you're right. I, I, I'm so, I'm sticking to the reset. <laughs> and I'm hoping that. <laughs> For Philly, they got TJ, Kazi, Witherspoon. Uh, my God, dude, they could have Sims back. Um, they could introduce Austin. Like, I'm really praying, like, if it's not this game, that it's that Philly game. Like, they will bring – we will be – everyone's back, full send, let's fucking go. And I'm really hoping that's what happens. I Yeah, I mean, they, they activated right. they, Daisy from the IR, so they have 21 days on him. Right. So – Dude, that'd be a shot in the arm, too, to that secondary. Yeah, for sure. God damn, would that sure. be a shot in the arm. Uh, oh, my God, if TJ was back, too. Whew. Yeah, I, was, he's not, I have oh. this on my notes. No news. Have you heard something from I haven't heard anything about TJ. Just say he's not limping anymore. Oh, good. good. He looks he looks better now. He's not he's not limping no more like he was at the beginning of the week. Uh, was that last week? Yeah. Yeah, is that when I told you? brought up in the last pod, on the Sunday yeah. podcast, yeah. Um, so he's not, he's not limping anymore, so. That's a sign, hopefully. See, you think everyone's going to come back for the Eagles game. I think they're saving everybody till after the bye. You could, and you could be right. Simple, conservative Steelers. Let's just give yep. everybody that extra week and bring them back. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. TJ worries me. Yeah, it's a serious I injury. I don't want him to come back too soon, okay. re-aggravate it, or God forbid, tear it worse and be out for the rest of the season and not linger into next year. We don't want that. Um, but if he's healthy, throw him out there. Let's go because they need him. They well, need him I mean, bad. they're going to be taking on the number one team in the NFC, right? Yeah. When the Eagles, Eagles are undefeated yep. and they're number one, I think. The Eagles are undefeated. So, and like, the offense is if there ridiculous. Was, if there was ever a time where you need to have everybody back, yep. it'd be this game. Yeah. Because I'm. I agree. If we, if we win this game tomorrow, 
and we were three and four. Bro, Tom is going to smell that 500 record. <laughs> he that is, is going to want – he is going to want blood true. come that game in Philly. I if if DJ's healthy, he's start, he's playing. If Kazi's ready, he's playing. Austin, Sims, all them guys, they are fucking Witherspoon. They're playing. I'm telling you, if he if we crawl back to 500 and we got a shot at it, right? It's happening. In fact, that might be exactly what will decide this. Will be this fucking Miami game. Now that I think about it, it makes perfect sense. If we win this Miami game, then he probably will be more open to making a run to go to four and four, right? If these guys are yep. healthy. If yep. we lose and we're what? Uh, that'd be what? Two and five, right? Two and five. So it'd be two and five, right? Then he may go, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just take this one on the chin, two and six, Good come point. back to the bye and have everybody ready. We'll make a run at the second half and see what happens. They'll have what? Good point. We'd be what would be two and six, so we still six. have nine games to go, correct? Yes, because that nine would be games to go. Eleven and six, yeah, seventeen games, yeah. So they, in theory, would try to come back with a full squad ready to go and try to make a run at going. I don't know, six and three or whatever. Yes, six and three would make them eight, nine, and one. Eight, eight and nine. Yes. And this this AFC North that that might put you in that might put you in the mix for the, yes. the, the, the division title because it's so bad. I think so. This game bad. tomorrow night could really decide that. Could really could. It's a huge. Okay. It's a huge it, game for the 2022 season. It is. It is huge. I mean, huge. When you I start told out you, like this, every game they is huge, still they, this one's because big. I've been saying it. I've been saying if they fucking can add someone that could put them over the top of 500, Tomlin's making that move, and whether it be. William Jackson the third. Some people think he sucks. He's injured. He's faking it. I don't know. I don't care. Either way, I can see that move being made. I can see them making a move to to help that team to get over five hundred or two five hundred or whatever if they win yep. tomorrow. I people can, can say he sucks all he wants. He's he's CB one if he gets traded here, bro. Yeah. Again, yeah, he's the, they're he's facing, the best corner in the room. They're facing Philly. If they win and go three and or three and four Monday, they might make that move. And bring him here. <laughs> I'm telling you, my man has a shot at crawling out of being one and four to four and four, right? Or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, dude, it's, it's, it's no happening. one would have believed it. Even if they win this one and they don't beat the Eagles, three and five is very doable for the second half of the season. That's, it is. That's best case scenario. When we look back at this and saw the schedule, we were like, no fucking way to beat the Buccaneers. The, the Dolphins no. were rolling with Tua before he got all the concussions went on. They're not beating them, and we nope. still don't think they're going to beat Philly. So if they right. squeak out these two wins, then yep. Philly's just a, a, a free roll. Right. No one expects them to win that game anyway. So no. whatever happens, happens. And then you can go in the second yep. half when you got the Panthers and the, the Saints and the Browns on your schedule. It makes them hay. Right. And dude, I mean, It was all doom and gloom three weeks ago. But. You know what? I didn't even think to look at this. Uh, who do the uh, – I have Bleach Report up because Mountaineers are getting their ass kicked by Texas Tech. <laughs> All right. Imagine that. I just I just checked in to see a score and yeah. Well, all right, go go nears. Um, let me uh, buy your pitch jersey. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> no. Don't don't ever stop. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to see who Philly faces this week. Uh, I got it down because I wrote it down for our picks. What the Eagles got. Are they on a buy? They might be on a buy. They are on a buy because uh, I don't have them down oh, yet. Son of a bitch. That's bad. That's even worse. That is bad, right? A buy going into the Steelers game. <laughs> Two oh. weeks to prepare for Matt Canada's offense. Damn it, dude. Uh, yeah, it's not good. But what are you going to do? Like I said, Eagles is a free roll. Win tomorrow night. Take care of business. And then try to make a run in the second half. That's the goal. Yeah. Because even myself, I was right, and they were going to be uh, sellers at the trade deadline, start selling off pieces, gathering draft picks. I thought this was done. And uh, if they lose this game tomorrow night, I still might be right on that. Because if they lose tomorrow, they're in deep trouble. Yeah, it's it's a pivotal, it's, pivotal game. It's so so important. I mean, there's a big difference between three and four and what two and five. Yeah, there's a big difference. Two and five, your season's essentially over. The percentage of teams to go two and five and then make the playoffs are 
pretty damn slim. It's got to, it's got to be small. Yeah, it's got to be yeah. small. So, um, I don't know, man. I tell you what, though, they 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 showed me something with the win over the Buccaneers. So, if they can go in there and they can, you know, beat up on that on that uh, you know, beat up on the Dolphins that are injury injured pretty good right now. We'll see what happens. But like I guess I don't though, know. Every time I get a little excited about this team. I come right back to earth when I start thinking about this offense. This offense is terrible, dude. Yeah. They're averaging. <laughs> and it shouldn't be. That's the sad part. Yeah. 16 points a game. And that's with the generous defensive touchdown thrown in there. 16 points a game after six mm. games is pathetic. Yeah. In this day and age of football, throwing the ball all over the field, people scoring all over the place, 16 points a game is like, it's, I don't even know how to explain it. 23 games Matt Canada has been head coach. He averages 19 points a game. <laughs> it's pathetic, dude. Yeah. And the rush game, which they said they've been talking about improving for, I don't even know how long, 10 years now, they're going to improve the run game. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. They haven't that had a 100 yard rusher since like week 15 of last year. And before that, it was a couple games. It's just, I don't know. Matt Canada's got to go. I wrote the piece today on steelsanctuary.com. You can check it out. What more evidence do they need? They need to fire this guy and move on. I don't care if it's Mike Sullivan for eight games. Let's see what he's got the second half of the season. And if he's good, keep him. If he's not good, let's get somebody else in here. It's time. They showed, uh, I think it was Claypool's uh, route, route tree that this last game, and it was a lot more him going deep. So – well, not a lot, but it was more in general. Like it was actually yeah. a lot more of him going deep. Uh, I think I saw about five or six of them. He was going deep on them. So hopefully, Canada is starting to lean more towards this because look what look what Claypool did when they started having him do that. So yeah, I they got to they got to pick somebody to be a deep threat. Like they got to stop this stupid shit with the the curls and the button hooks and all this other shit. It's just, it doesn't get you the first down and it's constantly, it helps the defense keep you in front of them. Like yep. they got to have some conservative, predictable. Like we've been saying all season. Yeah. It's so, you know, how many ends arounds they're going to run this week? I think I swear <laughs> they ran six, five or six. Last <laughs> week. It's like these teams know it's coming. Just stop oh. it. It's just. You no, know, when you, when you see nine Come in on. the box, <laughs> and you still like, run and it, yeah and, just... and you, you don't audible like it's like what are you what are you doing here but uh yeah so yeah because i otherwise i'd be i'd be kind of pumped for this team and this the rest of the season but as long as he's calling the plays and who knows is, is mike tomlin kind of telling him keep it conservative keep it conservative i win with defense who the fuck knows but either way it's just not working yeah i, I mean, need I'm, to do something i'm pretty pumped for this game because I know what where they're at if they win. Like I know that they're still in that hunt. You know that that's that's the thing that's got me so pumped about this game, and the way they played last week gave me hope. And I'm, yeah. I'm not even talking about everybody. I'm talking about, I'm talking about defense. Yeah. So to get mm-hmm. Minka back, to get Wallace back, you know I, that's 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 pretty good. Um, yeah, Minka you know, especially. They need um, oh God, yeah. Um, to get Muth back on offense to, you know, yep. to have him back. That's, that's, that's good too. Yeah. I didn't. So, yeah. so that's nice. Um, so we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes, man. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, it's hard to call the, to predict a, a score on this really. Yeah. Well, let's do, let's do legendary picks. I'm interested well, to see what your score is. Uh, the, your final score for the Steelers. Cause I struggled a little bit picking a score in this game. I want to see what you picked after. Yeah, um, I know. I'm trying to, all right, Dave. Uh, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but well, actually, you before I say that, before I say that, you beat me last week, so <laughs> let's let's get that. Let's you, fucking go. You went six and seven. I went five and eight. <laughs> Tony went seven and six. He beat us both. Did you really? Actually, <laughs> all three of those aren't bad against the spread. If you yeah. can come within a couple games of five hundred against the spread, that's not too bad. For the season, I'm still a little bit ahead of you. I got a four game lead: thirty nine, forty six, and one to your thirty five, fifty and one. So we're close. Hopefully you can redeem yourself today. Let's I'm see how you do. I'm raise hell in November. You wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it then. All right. All right, first game, Ravens at home, giving six and a half to the Cleveland Browns. Boy, the Browns stink. 
Well, the Ravens yeah. team, too. So, I, what do you got? I'm going to go Ravens. I'm I mean, go Browns they, cover. They might not win. Oh, but but what's, what, what, what was the cover again? Six and a half. Six and a oh, half. It's a lot. Jeez, I didn't, I didn't catch that part. Good Lord. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> mm, fuck. Uh, huh. <laughs> it's in Baltimore. You got to keep that in mind. Oh, it's in Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. I'm, I'm sticking with it. Okay. Ravens cover. Our favorite division. Titans are at home. Minus two and a half against the Colts. I can't pick this division to save my fucking life. It's so confusing. Dude. It's so uh, the Colts suck unless they face good teams. Yeah, like, I, weird. I don't, it's just bizarre. I don't. It's weird. But two and a half. That's it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I usually go with the Titans. I'm, I'm going to stick with the Titans. They haven't done me too dirty this season. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Titans. All right, Panthers getting thirteen and a half at home. Against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We can do this again with Tampa Bay laying a big spread. Yeah, I know. That's kind of dangerous. But I mean, now, uh, now that the Panthers no lost McCaffrey. their number one weapon, yeah. that probably makes sense. Maybe, you know, Brady won't go to a party and maybe he'll show up for the final walkthrough. Maybe he'll be on the same plane with his teammates. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Tampa Bay cover. Yeah, I think I'm going to go Tampa Bay cover, too. Pissed off Tom Brady after last week. Maybe he takes yep. his frustrations out on the Panthers. Yeah, exactly. I think he's going to definitely, um, yeah. The Cincinnati Bengals are at home, giving six and a half to the frisky Atlanta Falcons, man. The Falcons beat the 49ers last week. I know. It's, How many, I don't know what to what's, make of that what's, team. What's the uh... – Six and a half to the Falcons. Six and a half. Ooh. Falcons are nah. frisky. They're I know. Really I, I, think, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna take the points. Dude. I want to take the Bengals. I want to take the Bengals. I'm gonna regret it. But I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. Is it at Atlanta or in Cincinnati? No, it's in it's Cincinnati. Oh, it's in Cincinnati. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm I no. I'm taking Cincinnati. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I think Cincinnati. I, was, I had more of a if it's at Atlanta then yeah, but no, not in Cincy. I knew the, the 49ers were banged up last week, but I didn't think any way in hell they were going to lose to the Falcons. So I, I the Falcons right. are, tough to pick, that's for sure. All right, Cowboys. Uh, plus uh, minus seven against the Lions. Sorry, I can't read my own writing here. Cowboys at home, given seven to the Lions. I'll take Cowboys to cover. Yep. Dak Prescott back. Hell yeah. Is he rusty? Oh. Lions are another frisky team. Lions score points, man. They put a lot of points up. Uh, I'm gonna go Cowboys. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> in Dallas, bro. Yeah, Dak back. You take Cowboys too? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Washington Commanders getting four and a half at home against the Green Bay Packers. I would have thought this would have been more than just four and a half. <clears throat> ah man, I don't know. The Packers just have not been right. No, they haven't. But Washington's terrible. I mean, oh, Washington's well, terrible. okay. So they lost Wentz too, right? So now they're down yeah. to their second string. Um, I'm going to take Packers. Is it in Green Bay? No, it's in Washington. Ah, oh, see, that's a, yeah. I don't know, man. Fuck. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Green Bay. Fuck it. We should root against Green Bay because that'll make them more desperate for Chase Claypool. But <laughs> right, right. But I'm, um, I'm taking I'm taking the Packers. Yeah, I still say the Packers will cover. I I, uh, I don't know. It's only thing that makes me nervous is in Washington. Yep. Are the Jags. Did I write this down right? The Jags minus three. Oh, Jags. against the Giants at home. Are the Jags favorite at home? No, I'm they are. Question to myself. Yeah, they are. They are. It's, it's Jags minus three. Are the Giants four and one? Yeah. I don't understand this one at all. Is it, it's at it's, it's at it's, Jacksonville. It's in Jacksonville, but still. I don't know. Is there an injury we're not seeing or something? Mm. Saquon Barkley good? <laughs> You're giving me three points in the Giants. I'm taking the Giants. I think I am too. Yeah. Giants have been playing yeah. really good. So why? Yeah. Jacksonville's I actually love that been horrible lately. Yeah. So, no, I'm with you. Raiders giving seven to the Texans. Raiders at home. 
I'm taking the Raiders. I think they're going to spank the Texans this week. Wow. Yeah. That's my I, lock of the week. That's the first time I've heard you ever pick the Raiders. And that's your <laughs> yeah, lock I think of it the, is the week. First time. <laughs> Holy yeah, I shit. Think Look at, at you. I, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know how to even take that. Uh, <laughs> but against it, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, they've really screwed me like five times. Like, oh, I, yeah, they have. I, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to feel about this. Yeah. Texas are pretty shitty. Is it in Las Vegas though? I mean, these yes, are the things I got. It's in Vegas. Uh, it's in Vegas. Yeah. All right. I'll take Las Vegas to cover. Ugh. Broncos at home getting one and a half against the New York Jets. No Russell Wilson. Jets have been on fire. Yeah. I'm taking the Jets. Yeah. I'm rolling. Yeah. With I'm the taking Jets. Jets, Jets yeah. are four and fucking two, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the Jets, dude. Only only minus one and a half. It's so easy for them to cover. Yeah, I mean like, it's in Denver, but yeah, but you know, bro. The only thing that scares me is that since Russell Wilson's out, that Denver's offense might do better. <laughs> That's a great point. That's a great point. Like it's possible. I don't I even know, who's, who's the, the backup. Yeah, who's the backup? Is it? Uh, oh, I, don't know. I I I'm can't look it up real quick. Oh, I I, I did know it, but. I, I'm brain farting right now. Ooh. Let's see. Quick, this is not great podcasting. I'm like, phone is slow, but <laughs> I got to know before I pick this, make this pick who the backup quarterback is. Brett Rippon. Who the fuck is that? Who? <laughs> He's not very, he played for the commanders for a while. He's not very good. Um, yeah. Jets all the way, bro. If he makes that offense better than their two hundred and fifty yeah. million dollar quarterback, I think the owner is going to hang himself for signing <laughs> that contract. <laughs> He'll be swinging. Like, oh. oh my god, dude! Like that's so bad. <laughs> Brett Rippon. All right. <laughs> um. No. All right. I'm Next- the Jets. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 49ers getting a point at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, this game is so good now. Oh, my yeah, God. They, they say McCaffrey's going to play. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was. Or so. I think my, my dude, as soon as he heard a rumor, he fucking got in the plane and flew. Because I guess he's from that area. Did you know that? Yeah, he played at Stanford, and that's, yeah. that's around there, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, not Stanford. No, Stanford's not there. It's in, um, yeah. Stanford. Well, it's in Northern California. No, Stanford, I think, is north. In, in, isn't Stanford in Connecticut? <laughs> no, there is a Stanford in Connecticut. But this one's in California. This one's in California. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, my geography is off a little bit there. <laughs> no, there is one in Connecticut, but the Stanford, the college is in California. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they play in the Pac 10. Uh, God, Chiefs think... minus one. Fuck. Oh, God, Ooh. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the Chiefs. I think the 49ers are still banged up on defense. The thing is, it's only minus one. It's an easy cover. It's not, yeah. you know, we're not talking, you know, we're not talking, you know, minus six here. So, or no. more. Uh, I, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'll go with the Chiefs because he's still got to figure out that offense. I don't think he's going to be quite. Yeah. I, th- I think there'll be some uh, rough bumps in the first game. Yeah. I agree. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. Um, Watch him get next fucking game. rolled now. <laughs> Anything's possible. The Los Angeles Chargers at home, given five points to the Seattle Seahawks. This is an old AFC West yeah, rivalry from back in the day. I like the Seahawks, man. They're frisky. They, they're gonna cover. I don't know if they win. That's another frisky team I like. Well, the Chargers have been cover. shit. Yeah, like I don't know what's wrong with them. Like, is it injuries? Like. Their coach thinks, period. And they've, they've that, been injured, but I think that coach is that not defense good. I don't like should it. It be That defense should be a lot better than it is. Man. Oh, absolutely. But, I mean, I know they got injuries, so I, I, they lost that one guy. I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of their top guys they had on that team. I, I can't remember who it was, though. It wasn't Bozo. It wasn't uh, – uh, did, did, Bozo didn't play, though, right? Did, wasn't he injured the last game? Oh, was, was he injured, too? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right, well, there you go. I'm, I'll I, be confused t- with the I, other I'll, guy. You took the Seahawks, right? I took the Seahawks. All right. Just to be opposite of you, because I need to All catch right. you, I'm going to take All right. I'm going to take charges to cover. I just finished my letter to the NFL, 
please no more primetime games for the Chicago Bears. Monday night. <laughs> or Denver. It's the page. Like, yeah, Lord. Denver too. That's my Fuck. next letter. First, get the oh. Bears off primetime. Monday night football against the New England Patriots. Patriots given nine at home. Oh, is it nine? I got eight on mine. Yeah, I, they, I use oh. Bovada, and they kind of they, – this spread seems to be a little higher than the normal ones. Eight, nine. I still – now, they say Mac Jones is going to play this game. They're going to sit Zappy after he's oh, played so well. What the yeah, fuck? I, I'm pretty I'm, sure I okay. heard that. Um, that makes me nervous. Honestly, oh, does it really? Are yeah, you taking because, Bears? you taking the points? Um, yes, I think I am. Good. Nine points is too much. You do that. I am Nine taking the Patriots to cover. <laughs> I think Mac Jones is rusty. And that's all I got because the Bears other than that really suck. I think you're out of your mind. I think the Bears suck. <laughs> and I think it's in New England too, Patriot- which is worse. Oh, thank you, sir, for, for going I'm giving you and a taking them yeah. points. I like it. I'm Thanks. giving you a chance. I'm only behind you by four. It's coming. <laughs> it might be. All right. Our beloved Pittsburgh Steelers. I, I didn't I hadn't even looked at the, the spread until today. They're getting seven and a half in Miami. Wow. That's a lot of points, man. That is. Uh, uh, this is supposedly some Dolphins. They're going to celebrate some anniversary of their perfect season. They're going to make a big celebration in this game. Blah blah blah. I don't I, think that matters. I'm taking. I'm taking the. I'm taking the points. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to be a close game. I'm, yeah, I'm taking so. the points. I don't. I'm taking the Steelers as well. What do we got for a score? <laughs> I'll give you my. Score. I went Steelers twenty to seventeen. Did you? Yeah, I think it's going to be a close game. Boz wins it towards the end. That's what I'm feeling. I'm going to go Dolphins 2017. Oh, you're picking the enemy this week, huh? I am. No faith. No. No faith. (laughs) No. No. I just – No. Like, look, it was one thing when Waddle supposedly was going to be out a week to two weeks in the beginning. Yeah. It was like, oh, okay, so they can focus in on Tyree Kill – and it looked like Witherspoon was going to be back. So, in theory, your number one corner's back. They're missing their number two, who's a really good number two. I thought we'd be able to contain him a little better. Now, Witherspoon's not playing at all. Pierre is your number two who's banged up. Waddle's playing now. Apparently good to go. The X factor really is to it. You know, I don't, I don't know. And then on offense for us, we still have Matt Canada as the fucking yeah. offensive coordinator. So, I don't know what to think. So I don't know, man. It's, I think it's going to be a tight game, but usually in tight games, usually in theory, the home team usually comes out on top. So yeah, I like your 2017. I just think it's probably going to be the dolphins. Now I could even make the argument that the offensive might have a higher scoring game. So it might be like 30, 27 or 27, 24, something like that. Um, but I, that, that spread of, what was it? Minus seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I, I think it's going to be closer than that. So, so yeah, I think I think the, you know, I'll I'll, I'll be I'll go a little higher score than you. I'm changing it. I'm going to go Dolphins okay. twenty seven, Steelers twenty four. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if the Steelers get twenty four points on anybody this season, but well, um, I at this point I don't fucking know. Look, <laughs> I said they're going to lose 41 to what yeah, 10 last so week I. and they won yeah, 20 I, to 18. So yeah. you these games think, the Steelers are so hard to predict anymore cuz you don't know, know they're Jekyll and Hyde man. You don't know who's going to Look, if you're telling me that a defense of Minka and and all them guys are going to go get fucking smoked by, you know, Buffalo like that or, you know, lose like the way they did to Cleveland or whatever. And then we're going to put all these guys we got off the street against Tom Brady and we're going to win. They're going to only give up 18 points. How are we supposed to – how are you supposed to predict that? Yeah. Well, here's my, here's my thing. Here's my scenario. I think – I hope the Steelers figured something out last week as far as game planning defense, simplifying yeah. stuff, letting players play like we've talked about. I hope they figured something out and they're going to yeah. replicate that same game plan. I think two is going to be rusty. I think he might turn the ball over once or twice. I have zero confidence that, in the offense. And that's zero how they confidence. win. If That's how yeah. they'll win. If they, this if is they be one generate of those. the turnovers yeah. and score off of them, yeah. they should win. And I, I mean, it's I really, be one of those messy, ugly, 
I games and again, that, you know, I'm probably way off. <laughs> so you well, know, we're hoping. I don't know. You know, I, hey, I, I would love for the Steelers' offense to somehow explode. Like that'd be amazing. But you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll this see. is the George Pickens breakout game. Yeah, maybe against the secondary. I mean, it should be. Um. Yeah, basically, I, I'm just basing on two of Rusty. Steelers maybe figured something out on defense. A little healthier this week. And and Tomlin just he, – he tends to be able to build on momentum. He gets a big win, and he, he starts rolling off streaks. And they I think got, they might be – They have a good record against the Dolphins in his tenure too, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they, they're great in prime time. They were great with Cowler in prime time. They're pretty good with Tomlin in prime time. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know why I feel like they're going to win this game and they're going to make it interesting for the trade deadline and get our hopes up and then probably kill us in the end. Hey, uh, hey, look, I hope you're right, man. I really do. Like, I don't, I don't want to be right. Like, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but I don't know. I just, I don't know, man. I was, I was, I was on board. I was all on board picking the Steelers until Waddle was healthy now. And, and with it's definitely scary. Yeah. It's definitely out. Now, like, if you yep. told me that, say, maybe Kazi was back this week, you know, that would help the secondary, you know, yep. okay. But, you know, no with a spoon, banged up Pierre. Yeah, I know. You got – is wait, Sutton's good to go. Is Sutton good to go? Sutton's good, Sutton's good to go, yeah. Sutton will be in. Because he was out this past week too, right? Wasn't yes, all he of was. them? Like, all of them were out. Okay. Yeah, they are all out. Yeah, basically everyone was out. I don't know. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. we didn't even mention that. Sutton back helps for sure. Yeah, um, but again, he's his strength isn't speed, no. nor is Wallace. No, we know Wallace isn't fast. We know Sutton's not fast. So, like, we know Pierre's we, not fast. So, what are we sitting here saying? Are we saying Josh Jackson is our fastest corner? Should he be out there? More? Oh, I think I think he is the fastest corner. Whether or not he he probably won't play much unless Pierre's really banged up. Yeah, I mean, like the whole this Mike the- Evans to like. 34 yards or 43 I yards or whatever it was. I mean, that was impressive. Dave, if this isn't the classic play 10 yards off, give him the underneath stuff. Right. Too deep safety, you know, bend but don't break offense. Then they're going to get cooked. Then it's going to be like the game will be in the 40s. If they try to get cute and blitz and do stuff like that, they're cooked. They're done. So hopefully, like I said, they learned something last week. You know, bend but not break. Let the four guys up front rush. Put a lot of guys in coverage. Get some turnovers. Wasn't that what they did against Cincinnati? Well, yeah, pretty well, especially when TJ's there. They don't have to rush more than right. four because he's, that a, was, he's a game wrecker. In theory, though, they did the four yeah, only. That's where right? they're at their best. Yeah. Okay. And not getting cute and just playing coverage. Right. Well, um, they probably I, played uh, a little more man in that game, but this has got to be zone, you know, playoff, tackle the catch once they catch it. Okay. Tyree Kill is a motherfucker with the ball in his hands. All right, my final prediction. Okay, you're going to change it again. <laughs> Here we go. 24-21, Dolphins. Okay. So I'm still taking that's, the points. I'm still taking still the points. Like it. Yeah. But I'm going to go 24-21. The only way the Steelers score more than 20 is if the defense scores a touchdown. I'm sorry. Come to me in a couple of weeks after Kenny Pickett's established himself. Maybe I'll stop feeling better about the offense, even with Canada. <laughs> but for yeah. right now. It's just a bad unit. Yeah. Talented, but not good. All right. I think that's it. Unless you've got anything else. Uh, no, um, I'm ready, man. I can't wait. I'm excited for this. All game. right. I am too. I'm kind of excited for this game for the first time. It's like, yeah. Total role reversal from that Tampa Bay game where we thought oh, the well, sky was falling. We've had to do <laughs> post-mortem fucking podcasts <laughs> in fucking five weeks in a row. It's just like, you're so down in the dumps, but now that they yes. won a game, you're like, Oh my God, you know, maybe they figured something out. So this is so yeah. huge. If they win this game to be three and four, I mean, they're within striking distance of being 500. This is huge. But if they lose, ugh, way downhill. Yep. Yeah, it's a crucial game, like we talked about. All right. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter at Steelers Sanctuary 16. You can find the uh, us on YouTube, Steelers Sanctuary. Email them the show at D A V A R at Steelers Sanctuary.com. We'd really like to hear your feedback on the pod and the YouTube stuff we do. Uh, Dave, give me a Twitter handle and we'll get out of here. It's going to be M underscore Corb. All right. Until we'll probably have to do a Monday, right? Because Sunday night, forget it. (laughs)
I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll have to talk about that. All right, until at least Monday, we'll talk to you later.